Welcome to the new series of video and let us learn data engineering with Microsoft Azure. So as part of this introductory video, so let us know how to create a free Azure account so that we can learn practically while we theoretically learn so that practically we can practice also so that uh, we get the hands-on experience. So to start to kickstart with our learning uh, of data engineering with Azure. So let's see how to create a free Azure account. Basically, Microsoft Azure uh, is not a tool that uh, need to be installed. It is just the account. So we need to create an account and everything uh, uh, we can practice once the account is created for Microsoft uh, Azure account. We can practice literally everything in just any any browser, maybe Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge or any other uh, browser for that matter. So uh, let's see how to actually uh, uh, create a Microsoft uh, free account. Microsoft Azure account. So once you type in there, it will automatically take you to this uh, link of a Microsoft Azure. So once you click that, so it will take you to the page where it details out the things that you need and what are the uh, free things that you, uh, free services that you get uh, and what are the limitations. So every all the details you get uh, in this particular uh, page. If I uh, scroll down, so this is Azure Microsoft.com. This is official Microsoft. Uh, portal where they actually mention all these details so basically uh, it you can see there are like 12 popular uh, i mean uh, there are a few popular services that are free for 12 months and there are 40 other plus services which are always free so and uh, apart apart from that you get uh, 200 usd azure credit if you are in other country uh, the amount uh, will be uh, depend on the particular currency so and you will have 30 days to use this particular credit amount that azure is crediting you so once you create, so this will be automatically credit, credited to your Azure account. And uh, so this will be valid for 30 days, this 200 uh, USD. But these popular services, what they are mentioning, and uh, these are free for 12 months. And also, uh, like there are uh, several other services of Microsoft Azure, which are always free, always uh, in the sense lifetime free. So let us, if you scroll down here, uh, they have given the details, uh, more details if you see here, uh, if you click on see all free services. So these are the, there are a lot of services which are uh, uh, like creating an app server, uh, automations, uh, Cosmos DB, uh, MySQL, DevOps, Kubernetes. So there are a lot of lot of services basically, and uh, they, they actually can see here uh, what are the free period. So it's 12 month always. It is either 12 months or it is always free. And uh, what the what does free means? Uh, free means it is not completely free. Uh, there are some certain conditions that are applied here. If you see here, uh, it is only for 20,000 transaction. So if you see here, there is some memory limitation for a couple of services, especially for storage services. And for some compute compute uh, uh, services, there is some uh, limit based on that com compute and uh, request units, uh, particular request units. So it depends actually, like if you see, if you take the uh, storage services like my, uh, SQL, so there is a limitation with respect to the uh, storage. So with these limitations, uh, like, uh, if you come up here on the top, so there are two options to start free and pay as you go. So if you want to start uh, with the pay as you go, you need to uh, upfront, uh, you'll be upfront charged with your credit card or whatever uh, uh, banking details that you are provided, you'll be upfront uh, charged on that uh, banking details. So if, you are, if your intention is to uh, start practicing for free, so definitely we need to click on the start, start free option. So to create a Microsoft Azure account. So you need to have a mandatory, you need to have a Microsoft account. So you might have created a Microsoft account for some other purpose if you have already created it. So you can directly start uh, giving that Microsoft account here. Okay. If, if you don't have the Microsoft account, you can just uh, create one, just go to this link and uh, you need to fill a form where uh, it will ask you the uh, basic details of. So if you want to create an account, say uh, you can give your email ID here. After that, it will take you to the page and there. So once you give all the details there in that form, uh, so it will ask you the credit card details. So uh, don't worry, it will not charge you. So it will just charge you a nominal amount of uh, one or two rupees. Uh, but uh, actually it is, it is, it will not charge you unless you create a pay as you go service. So you need to authenticate your uh, credit card or uh, sometimes it also accepts nowadays a debit card, which uh, sometimes may be a salary account or something, but uh, not uh, actually prepaid uh, debit cards it will not accept. So once you create a Microsoft account, uh, basically what you need to do is you can directly sign into that uh, Microsoft account. So since I already have my Microsoft account, so I can just give my uh, and uh, I'm just giving the user 
username and password here. So once it gets authenticated, so it will directly take you to the Microsoft portal. Microsoft Azure portal basically. So since I've already created my uh, Azure, account, Azure portal, uh, Azure account, uh, so it is it is giving me this message. But uh, so if you're a first time uh, creating this, so you'll be directly navigated to the Azure portal. So once you, uh, I mean, uh, create this uh, Microsoft account uh, here, so you can directly go to the portal.azure.com. So this is a home page of Microsoft Azure, and you will directly land into this page. So once you see this page, uh, it is confirmed that you have successfully created a Microsoft uh, Azure account. And you can see here 14,500, which is a $200 equivalent uh, rupees in Indian currency has been created to my account, which is valid for next 30 days. I can utilize it for uh, within next 30 days. And uh, so you can see a lot of services here. This is the home page. Uh, you can directly go and, uh, go and create the services here. So please note that we are using a uh, like a free account. So it is not a pay as you go account. If it is a pay as you go account, so you'll be directly charged for that uh, particular uh, uh, services that you're using. So if you go for cost, uh, cost and management, uh, cost management and billing here, you can see. So we are using a, and this is a billing account. This is a uh, billing details. And if you go to the cost management here, uh, here somewhere it shows it is a free account. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, it, it shows uh, it's a free trial account. And uh, so if you have another uh, pay as you go service, you can actually select that and it will show all your uh, costs uh, accordingly with uh, some cost analytics and you can control uh, like basically you can have the budget control here and you can also set alerts cost alerts if you're exceeding some amount and uh, there are custom alerts that you can create uh, so that you can control your billing. So this is much important uh, when you're talking about a free account as well because you should not accidentally create the pay as you go account. So if you're creating that, you should come come here and make sure that you're not being charged on a monthly basis. So that's that's the reason uh, I'm explaining it uh, at the beginning of the uh, session. So cost management and billing. Just uh, make sure you're not using you're not creating any services with pay, pay as you go. So with this free account, uh, just if I click on uh, more services, you can see here there are a lot of services. There are like. Uh, if you click on general, there are general services. If you click on compute, these are all compute services, networking services, storage services. Basically, these are these many things what Microsoft Azure uh, provides uh, as part of the cloud. And a few of the services are uh, platform as a service, and a few of the services are infra infrastructure as a service. So uh, it, it actually depends what actually uh, you want to use for your requirement. And also, you can go to go and check here uh, switch directory. Here also you can see uh, what is your domain name, and it's a default directory, and uh, it is a free trial. Suppose if you have a, if you have an enterprise account which is created for your uh, organization, so that's enterprise subscription basically. So that will be listed here, and you can uh, switch to that and uh, utilize that as well. So hope this is clear how uh, we can uh, create the Azure account for the practice purpose. In the next coming session, we can uh, go one by one services and learn more about uh, Azure uh, for data engineering specifically. Thanks for watching.